Hello, and thank you for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You. Hello, my name is Sylvia Black. I'm a licensed real estate broker and owner of affordable homes and apartments in Williamsville. And I'm also licensed to preach and ordained as a minister. Uh, for more information on my religious books, you can go to highwaytoheavenchurch.net. And for more information on my real estate books, you can go to affordablehomesandapartments.com. Thank you for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You, which airs every Wednesday on Time Warner Public Access TV Channel 20 at 6.30 to 7 p.m. and Saturday from 12.30 uh, at noon to 1 p.m. You can also visit my YouTube address at sblack3001 and you can hit me up on Facebook at Dr. Sylvia Black. Today we're going to talk about rehab this house. And again, thank you for joining me. Today we are out in Lockport again. We're in front of 45 South Street where we are actually painting the outside of the house now. And we have a buyer. And God is good. So let's kind of come on and show you the crew that's working on the house. Here's the, the front entrance of the door. And there's the other crew member right there. <laughs> they say it's a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman on the job. Can I get some help up in here? <laughs> Amen. Okay, everybody, I want you to meet Shirley. Shirley, say hi to our, our listening audience today. To our listening of our audience. watching audience. To our listening audience, praise God. Okay, that's her. That's Shirley up there. Uh, she's helping me paint. She's been helping me do the inside of the house and the outside. It's just her and I. We've been the crew here. I want to talk to you on a tour just of the porch area so you can see what it looks like, what we've accomplished here. We painted the outside of the house. We did the ceiling, as you saw. It was all scraped up and everything. And uh, she painted that, scraped that, and painted it. And let me just back up a little bit so I can show you the rest of the house again. As you can see what the color was before. Now it's looking real nice. Painting it all white. It's supposed to be eggshell, but it's, uh, it's like an egg white. And we're going to paint the steps as well. This is the main entrance of the doorway. And this is the other door that we have here. So today we are painting and we are getting this house ready. Just the little finishing touches that we are working on here. And as you can see, what we did is we used some, uh, we're using, uh, what are we using? Uh, semi-gloss exterior paint. We're using the semi-gloss exterior paint. And uh, that paint wasn't very expensive at all. We started out with four gallons and it's just enough to do the front area. Of course, it's not enough to do the, the whole outside of the house. But we had to scrape the, uh, the, the ceiling portion. And we also had to, uh, you know, just paint and, you know, prime it and everything. And so now we're just taking care of the finishing touches. As you can see, here's the Latisse panel. That's around for privacy. And I think that's a nice added touch, nice feminine touch there, as you can see. So I'm going to take you on a little tour and show you what we've done on the inside of the house. Okay, so we'll start with the bathroom over here. Here's the, the uh, living room, dining room. Okay, as you can see here, we started plasterboard in the ceiling up there, put in a ceiling fixture. The new owner will do that. This is the official kitchen. And this is the bathroom. We're making, making it look nice with some, you know, shower curtains to make it look livable. We put the new toilet seats on the toilet. So we got brand new toilet seats on those toilets there, brand spanking new. And the toilets work. They actually flush. Okay. And here's the bathroom on the downstairs. Put some nice shower curtains. The shower curtains only cost uh, about $10. And they're beautiful ruffled, very nicely put on. That's a circular. And of course the kitchen, these are our tools and stuff that we'll be getting up out of here. Where we have a stove and the cabinets. This is the back door that leads to the porch, the back porch. And this is the pantry area, which we'll have uh, some shelves and putting some shelves in here. Okay, it used to be a closet. This used to be a three unit. Now it's been converted down to a single. 
Got to put a ceiling fixture up there, maybe a fan or something. And we're going to go back through the house. And we'll go on the other side. That's the door that leads to the basement, and then those are the steps that lead upstairs. It has two front doors, don't know why. And we'll take you through to the laundry room again. We'll show you the laundry room. There's the tub. Okay, and here's the one closet door. There's a ceiling. Nice cabinet fixtures. One in the laundry room. Smoke detectors in place. Okay, nice ceiling fixture right there, and they all work. Okay. And we'll take you in here into the back room. This is a room. There's a ceiling fixture. And we have, there's the back door. Well, that's not, it used to be, I guess it used to be a door, but now it's radiator heat in all rooms. This room has a private bathroom, plenty of shelf space, plenty of shelves in the house. Okay, from floor to ceiling. And the bathroom also has lots of shelf space in the corner and then there's shelf space there okay nice radiator heat nice uh, vanity right there with a double light we put the energy efficient bulbs in there and then nice sink and again brand new toilet seats on here brand, I think the water's turned off on this one brand new toilet seats didn't take much to put them on Brand new toilet seats we put on. We uh, epoxy the side of the tub so the tub is nice and clean. And we have that as a ventilating system up there. Okay, now we're going to take you back out. And we're going to go through back to the laundry room again. And we'll take you upstairs. Oh, this is the wall that we spackled. Okay, we got to scrape it down, sand it down, and then paint over it. Okay, this is that other wall that was uh, loose, the light fixtures there. This has no ceiling fixture, so there's lots of plenty of, of plugs in, in the house. So now we're going to take you upstairs, show you the upstairs. <coughs> okay, again, here's uh, three bedrooms. One bedroom here. Okay, this is one wall that we had this patch up again. Had to probably sand it down and paint it. Okay, here's the uh, the uh, radiator. Lots of windows and closet space. Plenty of closet space. Okay. Now we go through to this other bedroom here. Nice ceiling fixture. Okay, we did these walls. Okay, nice window radiator heat again. Okay, here's the closet. And then here's another room. What we're doing is where this was a kitchen actually. So we have that there. We're going to spackle this wall. Just that portion needs uh, spackling. We replaced uh, the floorboard with that because there was nothing under it. This has plenty of closet space in it. Nice cabinet with the old uh, oh, iron board. Here's the window. It'll peek at the backyard, the back roof. Roof was in good, excellent condition. We had the leaks fixed. And now we're gonna take you over to the master bedroom. And here is the master bathroom first that we'll show you. And again, nice, beautiful, uh, nice, beautiful, uh, we haven't finished putting up the shower curtains, but we got the shower curtains up, a nice effect, nice, beautiful effect for the bathroom, okay, nice, beautiful shower curtains there, nice window, brand new toilet seats again. Toilet flushes. Nothing wrong with this toilet here. Nothing wrong with that toilet. Okay, there's a sink. 
Again, nice vanity right here. Double window. I mean, double uh, light light fixtures. Okay, everything is in working order here. And here's the master bedroom. Before we show you that, I'll show you this room here. Remember how this wall used to look? Now look at it, it's patched up. We have to patch it up a little more. Paint over it. Okay, we got it nice and hard, nice and firm. It's a joint compound. And we have to now just paint it. Remember we took up the old coat carpet, old, old linoleum underneath. So now we have a nice hard, hard, you know, uh, wall there, nice wall. Okay. No leak, no evidence of leak at all anywhere. It's not wet. It's completely dry. Okay. And now here's the master sun radiator heat again. Here's the master bedroom. Beautiful hardwood floors. I love these floors. And uh, two kitchen, two, two windows. Nice little closet there. Okay. That's another window. Got three windows in this bedroom. I like the way that ceiling swoops. It sort of swoops. It's a high ceiling, but it swoops down like right there. See how it goes up. And then here's the other room, which could be used as a uh, actually a, either a nursery or a closet, or it could be used as pretty much whatever you want to use it for. Probably if I were to live here, which I don't really want to live in Lockport, but if I did, I would use it as probably a nursery or something. Or me, I would probably use it as a closet. I would have this as a closet and also this is closet space as well. So I put a, we'll probably put some curtains here. Uh, but like I said, we have a buyer for it. So if they go through with the sale, then the rest of the repairs are going to be on them. And we will show you the house once they finish the house. When it's completely lived in and beautified and everything, we're going to show you and we're going to tell you how they did it. We might be filming when they actually repair the house. Uh, but again, there's radiators in every room, okay? Uh, this one has radiators right here. Nice radiator heat. Look at these beautiful floors. I love these wood floors. Restore these floors back. All the floors are going to be restored back to the way they were originally. And this is a house at 45 South Street. This is what I do. I'm a real estate broker, licensed real estate broker by trade. And this is what I do. I buy houses. And I'm not going to tell you my secret where I got the house from because I told you I bought this house for less than $2,000. I've had it for about four years. Okay, originally it was a four unit. It had, it had four kitchens and it had, I'll show you, I showed you what one of the kitchens were. That room that we put the new, uh, this room here was a kitchen also. So there was actually two kitchens up here on the second floor. This room where we just put the brand new and where we restored the floor. And we took the floor up and we took that, that did a lot that was a lot of work taking that floor up but this room here it was it was a kitchen as you can see the gas pipe is still there where uh, you know the stove used to be that's where the stove was it can you can either have a 220 or you can have a, a gas stove right there let me zoom in on that so you can get a better look and see see you could have a 220 plug or you can have gas. Either one you can put here. Or both. You can have actually a washer and a dryer. You can have a gas dryer or electric dryer. Lots of plug space. Lots of plugs. And this little room has three plugs. Okay, and here's the other plug. We didn't want to cover that up. But this wall is nice and solid. Nice and solid. Okay, it's a nice wall. We just fixed it. We put it up. We just got to sand it down. Do something to the floors or the new owner will do that and here we go so this house here is a great house um, I've done a lot of the work when a new owner gets it they're gonna just have to finish what's what work I didn't do okay now this is the main door that you come in but we haven't opened it yet because it has the lock hasn't been fixed properly so here's, again, the rest of the house. These are my Latisse panels. I think I paid maybe $3 for each one of these Latisse panels. And we put them up. And we're painting the outside. Look at how pretty that looks with just a little bit of paint. Amazing what a little bit of paint will do for a house. 
And so, Shirley, how do you enjoy working uh, as a carpentry, a carpenter, you know, doing some carpentry work? How do you enjoy it? I think it's great. It's fantastic. I think that um, it's a blessing to be able to apply myself to such a, a beautiful uh, home. And um, it actually feels uh, occupied. <laughs> yeah, it does feel occupied. We've been coming out here every week. <laughs> and it looks great today. It really does. Yeah, it does. Uh, the difference, uh, as you said, the paint makes. And mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to just um, mm -hmm. to really, you know, mm -hmm. get going and and have uh, some of the finishings and things that we need to mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. uh, the perfection of it. Right, you know? right. So yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. A quiet neighborhood, and, I, and the neighbors are very kind, very mm -hmm. nice. And yeah. um, I think that this home mm -hmm. um, is a plus for whatever you want. You know, yeah. whether as rental or whether as a sale. Yeah. Um, the occupation of this home is going to be a blessing to yeah. whoever whoever moves in. Yes. Right. They're gonna get the sound structure, and then look at that paint. Remember the before and now look at the after version. This side, this is what she certainly did this side. Don't it look great? Wonderful paint. Yeah. It's a little paint. It was gray. So we decided just to paint the whole thing. Yeah. It's rather actually sort of like an off-white kind of a... It's not white-white. It's sort of off-white. But it's a great, it's a great color. It is a compliment to the home and the structure of it. Very uh -huh. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, we're going to go in the backyard. I'll show you the backyard. This is the frontage of the house. This is the front yard right here. We're gonna put some fence around there. Big old tree that's been there for years. And there's a church across the street. So it has four garbage cans because it used to be a four unit. They still assessing it as a four unit. So we're gonna take you in the backyard, show you the backyard. As you can see, there's the gas meter is in place. 